Today on the show, changing the color of your eyes with lasers, killing a fly with a gun, and curing Alzheimer's disease with stem cells. But it's really cool, I promise. Really. Thanks for clicking play, I'm James Papadopoulos. Let's get right to it. For as long as I can remember, if you had brown eyes but wanted blue, it was an easy fix. Either use Photoshop or toss in a pair of colored contacts. Easy. But what if you wanted something way more permanent, way more expensive, and way more laserific? Enter Dr. Greg Homer from Stroma Medical in Laguna Beach, California. He spent the last 10 years developing something he calls luminized technology that uses lasers to turn brown eyes blue. It does so because he says that brown eyes are actually blue eyes with brown on top. He uses the lasers to zap the brown pigments and then over the course of around two weeks of having freaky weird ass eyes, the brown just starts to go away and you're left with these, for lack of a better word, blue eyes. It's a one way street though, so once the brown pigment is gone, it won't be regenerated. As for me, I've already got my blue beauties thanks to nature, so I don't get to use his laser. It's tough being one of the beautiful people, you know? Anyway, that brings me to my next story. It's summertime, and that means lots of stuff. The beach, picnics, frolicking in the park with your dog just to get away from your bitch of a wife and those kids that just won't shut up until school starts again. But it also means annoying flies. There are lots of ways to kill those little jerks. The old swatter, a shoe, newspaper, sticky traps, even electrified tennis rackets. None of those are that much fun though, and you can easily miss. That's where the bug assault comes into play. An inventor named Lorenzo Maggiore invented this awesome gun that blasts out a bit of salt in a deadly spray that kills flies. It only blasts out a little bit of salt each time. He shot it into a plastic bag here so you can see how much. I'd rather have a little salt on the floor though than a fly buzzing around, so it's all good. Now before I show you the video of this thing in action, if slow motion video of flies getting the life blasted out of them upsets you, you should look away now. Also, the sound is theirs, not mine. It's fun, non-toxic, cheap, and you get to shoot at flies. It's almost enough to make you want to take the screens out of your windows. Almost. You can check it out and pre-order now at bugassault.com. Now, finally, I realized how weird it is to go from a salt gun that kills flies to stem cell research, but hey, it's TextBank. Deal with it. A company with a simple name of stem cells has found that their human stem cells restored memory in mice who were bred to have an Alzheimer's-like illness. Now, stem cell therapy is known to help cure and treat lots of conditions like leukemia, stroke, and more, so that's not the real story here. The real interesting thing is that they're actually having trials in humans. Their stem cells are taken from aborted fetuses and in trials on children suffering from a disorder that prevents them from producing a covering for their neurons, they implanted cells through tiny holes made in their skulls. Now, three of the four children they had trials on showed signs of improvement and one had their symptoms stop progressing. They also started trials in patients with spinal cord injuries and macular degeneration, and while it's still in its infancy, it's great to see that stem cells are finally making their way closer to common usage for people suffering and dying because of some really horrible diseases. And that brings us to the end of another episode of TextBank. Remember to check us out on Facebook and Twitter for even more fun. Until next Thursday, I'm James Papadopoulos. Thanks for watching.